when you talk shit about Trump or talk shit about Biden, I think I, I'm trying to find a line to walk where you, they don't immediately put you into the, this person has Trump derangement syndrome or they have the other, the alternative to that. I, I'm more than happy when people are preemptively dismissing me because then I don't have to waste time engaging with them because those people will be of no use to me. When I was on Tim yeah. Pool recently, Tim Pool's show, uh, Tim Pool's known for his little like hat. I got a propeller beanie motorized and it was just spinning the whole two hours, you know, like a 1950s thing. The point being, I wore it because there's lots of people who would say, I can't take seriously someone who wears a hat like that. And my point being, if you are the kind of person who takes your cues based on someone's wardrobe, as opposed to the content of your ideas, you're of no use to me as an ally. So I'd be more than happy you preemptively abort rather than waste our breath trying now, this to This is the deep, this is a very, very deep thing that you and I disagree on, which okay. is, this is goes to the trolling versus the love, uh, is I believe that person instinctually dismisses you on the very basic surface level. Yes. But deep down, there actually, there is a wealth of a human being that seeks the connection, to seeks to understand deeply, to connect with other humans that we should speak to. I, so, I, I, yeah, you and I completely disagree. So, so you're saying- like, I'm saying there's no mind there literally. Okay, so let's, I, I naturally I'm not think the majority, so I naturally think the majority of people are, have the capacity to be thoughtful, intelligent, and um, you know, learn about ideas, ideas that they instinctually, based on their own like c current inner circle, disagree with, and learn to understand, to empathize with the other. Well, like I, I, and in the current climate, there's a divisiveness that discourages that, and I, that's where I see the value of love of of encouraging people to to uh, to strip away that surface instinctual response based on the thing they've been taught, based on the things they listen to, to actually think deeply. Have I, you ever had uh, gone to CVS or Dwayne Reed and your bill, how much you owe them is $6 and you give them a $10 bill and a single and watch the look on their face? You watch them void their bowels and panic because you've given them $11 on a $6 bill? This is not a mind capable or interested in thoughts and ideas and learning. No, you're talking about the first moment of uh, a, fir a first moment where there's an opportunity to think. They are desperate to avoid it. No, they're just, it's- And incapable of it. I, I just, it's, uh, they have the same exact experience as I have every single day when I know it's time for me to go out on a, on a run of five miles or six miles or 10 miles, I'm desperate to avoid it. And at the same time, I know I have the capacity to do it and I'm deeply fulfilled when I do do it, when I do overcome that challenge. You are one of the great minds of our generation. You are telling uh -huh. me that any of these people can do anything close to the work you do? Not in artificial intelligence, but in the uh, in, um, in the ability to be compassionate towards other people's ideas, like Could, understand them enough to uh, be able- Passion requires a certain baseline of intelligence because you have to perceive other yeah. people as being different, but of value. Yeah, exactly. That's a sophisticated mindset. I think I think most people are, are, are capable of it. You don't think so? No, and nor are they interested in it. But in that kind of, <laughs> if you don't believe they're capable of it, how can anarchy be stable? Uh, if you have a farm, there's one farmer and 50 cows. It's very stable. You're just not. You're not asking the cows where to where to, where to farm things. <laughs> yeah, but the the cows aren't in, intelligent enough to do damage. Cows, cows certainly could, bulls because they could do a lot of damage. They could trample things. They could attack you. Cows are like how, how much do they weigh? Like four thousand pounds. Can like, you connect the analogy then? Because like sure, uh, you can't expect that. Yeah, saying a cow's a cow isn't a slur. It's not saying you hate cows, cows, or even, let's say uh, the example I always use uh, with good reason is dogs, okay? Uh, I always say to study how human beings operate, watch Caesar Milan, because human beings and dogs have co-evolved. Our minds have both evolved in parallel tracks to communicate with each other. Dogs are can be vicious. Dogs, for the most part, are great, wonderful, but 
you can't expect the dog to understand certain concepts. It's not an instant. And now most people are offended. Are you saying I'm like a dog? If you're a dog person like I am, this is actually a huge compliment. Most dogs are better than most people. Um, but to get the idea that this is something that is basically your peer is nonsensical. Now, of course, this sounds arrogant and elitist and so on and so forth. And I'm perfectly happy with that. But it is very hard for, to persuade me or anyone that if you walk, George Carlin has that joke, think how smart the average person is, then realize 50% of people are dumber than that. If you walk around and see who's out there, these people are very kind. They are of value. They, they deserve to be treated with respect. They deserve to be secure in their person. They deserve to feel safe and to have love. But the expectation that they should have any sort of semblance of power over me or my life is as nonsensical as asking Lassie to be my accountant. So, but that goes to power, that not to uh, the ability, the capacity to be empathetic, compassionate, intelligent. What, if I were to try to prove you wrong? That's a good uh, question, okay. What would, what, would, what would you be impressed by about society? Well, how would I show it to you? That's a good question. How would you show it to me? Because I think something has to be falsifiable if you're gonna make a claim, right? So what would it, what would it, because we both made claims that are not a kind of our own like interpretation based on our interaction. Like when, when I open Twitter, everyone seems to say- Twi Why do you only follow one person? Who do you follow? Who's the one person you follow? Uh, Stoic Emperor. Okay. I, I I follow a lot of people. I, oh, I have a script. I have a okay. script that- Of course. <laughs> I, have an, I have a robot. I have, an, I have an entire interface. So I, 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 I think Twitter is really- <laughs> This is real love. It's not ironic love. I yeah. love- watching it, and I'm sure you do too. Yeah. I love watching a quality mind at work because when someone has a quality mind, they're often not self-aware. I catch this on myself mm -hmm. of how it operates. And then when other people see it, they're like, oh my God, this is so beautiful because there's yeah. such an innocence to it. Yeah.